One of my students has recently used my YouTube growth tactics along with using special AI tools to automate some of the hardest parts that go into running a YouTube channel and he got to the point of making over $10,000 per month. In this video today, I'm going to be revealing not only the channel but also a lot of the AI tools he used and I'm going to be formatting this in a step-by-step -step way so you can follow along on the exact steps to take if you as well want to start your very own channel using these special AI tools. And step number one when it comes to doing this is choosing a niche. Now choosing a niche can be one of the hardest parts in this process and a lot of people get hung up at this point. I know I have in the past when I'm starting new channels because the options are almost endless. So we can actually use AI to help us along with choosing a niche. And for this, we're gonna be using an AI tool called ChatGPT. Now you've probably heard of it since it's been the news a lot lately. Lately. But if we hop down to the computer, as you can see, this is what the interface looks like after you sign up for an account. It's completely free, which is really awesome. And if you go down to the send a message box right here, you can enter a prompt. So for this prompt for coming up with a niche for our YouTube channel, we're simply going to ask ChatGPT, come up with 100 niche ideas for a faceless YouTube channel and just click enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT will generate this completely automatically for us and give us a ton of ideas. Now, the reason we're generating 100 right here is due to the fact that we want to have a lot of ideas to choose from. We don't just want to be limited by a couple. We want to have a lot of ideas so that we can choose the best one of it. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can kind of narrow this down as well in a second. But as you can tell, a lot of these niche ideas are very unique and a lot of them are actually really good. For example, I know mystery videos and historical mysteries do incredibly well on YouTube. Same thing with top 10 lists. That's kind of how I could personally got my start on YouTube. I run over a dozen different channels if you don't know, and I run some top 10 channels. Philosophy also does very well on YouTube, but what you wanna do is go through this list and choose subjects that you have at least somewhat of a personal interest in. This is gonna make sure that you stay committed to this, even though we're gonna have AI automate some of the hardest parts in running a YouTube channel, you still wanna have at least some interest in the subject you're doing, so you'll stay committed to continually grow the channel, push out more content, and I'm saying this because I want you to be successful doing this. And if you don't see any ideas, you can simply go down to ChatGPT right here again and say, give me five more ideas and just click enter and it'll just give you a bunch more ideas right there. And you can continually repeat this process. But before choosing an idea, once you've narrowed down your list to ideas you're interested in, then you wanna make sure that there's actually an audience for that niche or that idea. And in order to do that, since you have a much smaller list right now, you can simply go to YouTube and start searching that topic. So for example, I search philosophy since that's something I'm personally interested in. And I came across this channel right here called Brainy Dose, which I've talked about in the past. And they do a lot of these psychology videos right here that get millions of views. In fact, the channel itself is currently pulling in almost 2 million views per month, which can be a lot of money from ad revenue alone. In fact, if this channel is getting a $10 CPM, meaning they're making $10 per thousand views on their channel, this channel would be making around $18,000 per month just from ad revenue alone. As you can see, that's well over $10,000 per month from a completely faceless channel. And now, as I promised, I'm going to reveal my student's channel that I mentioned at the beginning of this, and his channel is called Debt Busters right here. He's got almost 20,000 subscribers, push out over 156 videos on his channel. As you can see, he's got multiple videos with hundreds of thousands of views on them. And what's awesome is that a lot of these videos were made primarily using a lot of AI tools. I'm gonna to show you exactly what tools he's using. I've actually talked with him and he gave me permission to show you this right here. And his niche that he chose is actually the AI tools niche. So it's entirely appropriate for this video due to the fact that if any of you guys go check out his channel, you're already interested in AI tools and therefore it will also benefit his channel. Otherwise, I wouldn't be showing his channel unless it provided a direct benefit to him. Now, ideally, when it comes to choosing a niche, you wanna choose one where there's the potential of being able to sell products from your channel in the future. And some of the best niches to do this in include health, wealth, happiness, relationships, travel, and technology because a lot of people have problems within these subjects and you can come in and help solve their problems in their videos. And then if they wanna take it to the next level, they can buy a product that you refer, either an affiliate product or one that you make yourself. Put it the link in the description and you can make multiple times more money than just from ad revenue alone. Now, if you wanna learn the absolute best niches to do on YouTube, I have a video going over the 30 best niches. You can check it out next to me right here or I'll try to link it in the description as well. Now, step number two is creating your channel. And that starts 
starts with choosing a channel name. Now I know in the past I've gotten hung up on choosing a channel name all the time and I've honestly wasted so many days trying to think of the perfect channel name even though some of my most successful channels that have gotten millions of subscribers the names have absolutely nothing to do with the channel. So you do not have to be perfect with this name whatsoever. And in fact, to aid you with choosing a channel name so you can get started doing this as fast as possible, we can use ChatGPT once again. So if we open up ChatGPT right here, we can ask them since we chose the philosophy niche for creating videos on. And the reason we're doing this niche is because we've also verified that there's been multiple videos going up with over 100,000 views each on them. This verifies that there's a potential of us getting that amount of views as well. So if we jump on over to ChatGPT right here, we can simply ask it, come up with 10 names for my YouTube channel about philosophy. There we go. Let's see what it comes up with right here. As you can see, it says certainly here are 10 names and it gives us philosophy unveiled, the philosopher's lens, infinite reflections, wisdom waves. A lot of these are really good names that would have taken me days to come up with, but here we have them instantly. Now before going ahead and using any one of these individual names right here, we want to make sure that they aren't taken, so to speak, so we don't have to face any legal trouble in the future if this was already some sort of established brand. And here's how you can do that. If you hop on over to some of these names they give us, for example, Philosophy Unveiled right here, we can simply copy that and go to this website right here branddb.wipo.int. I know it's confusing. I'll have my editors put the link up on the screen right there. But if you go here, this is essentially a global brand database where you can paste in different brand name ideas. So you can see if any of these ideas have already been copyrighted or taken in some form or fashion. So all we have to do is paste it in there and click search and it will come up. And as you can see, it says no results found. So that's very good for us because we don't wanna choose a name that's already been taken. I also recommend searching on YouTube, making sure there's no huge YouTubers that are using that name already, so you don't have to compete with them for the name of your channel. Because as you can see, if we go here and we search something like Coca-Cola, for instance, you'll see that there's tons of names taken in all the different countries that Coca-Cola has trademarked these names. So if you see any results here, that's a bad thing. You wanna see no results. And another tool you can use to come up with tons of names for your channel as well is the Shopify business name generator. So as you can see, we can, for example, type in YouTube channel about philosophy click enter and it'll generate us a ton of names as well. And some of these might also be very good. As you can see, we've got a ton of other name ideas right here that you can also use. So it literally should only take you 10 to 20 minutes and boom, you have a name for your YouTube channel. Let's move on to the next step. And for the purpose of this example, we're gonna be using that name Philosophy Unveiled. Next, we need to make a profile photo. This is another thing that a lot of people can get hung up on and we can use AI to speed through this process super fast. All you have to do is head on over to a tool called Canva and then go right here and search YouTube logo right there and it will come up with a ton of different templates for YouTube logos that we can use and this way we don't have to have any design experience we don't have to pay an expensive designer to create a logo or anything we can simply choose a good looking logo for our YouTube channel and I think this one looks good right here it relates to philosophy since it has a brain in it so we can simply click it click customize this template right here and it can bring it up and we can simply edit it and customize it to say what we want it to say which is philosophy unveiled. There we go. As you can see, boom, we just made a logo in like a couple minutes right there. So boom, we got the logo. Next up, we have to make the channel art. Again, you can do that completely within Canva right here. Just go to Canva and search YouTube channel art. And this will come up with a bunch of templates that we can also use. As you can see, tons of different templates. Let's just choose one real quick. For example, this one right here, we'll click that and we can just click customize this template. And same exact thing, you just put in what your channel name is. So we just click to edit this right here. And boom, just like that, we now have channel art for our channel. So all the branding of our channel is already done. It took us literally like two minutes. And as you can see right here, if we hop back on over to some of these successful channels here, their logo is literally just a picture of a brain. This is their channel art right here. Here is my student's logo and channel art. As you can tell, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can literally make this within a couple of minutes and boom, now you've got the branding done for your channel. And next up, now we need a channel description and that's what shows up on this page right here on your YouTube channel. As you can see, he's got a bit of a description right here that just describes the type of content that he produces. So what we can do is hop on over to ChatGPT and simply ask it, give me the five best keywords relating to Phil philosophy 
on YouTube. Click enter. This will give us a list of some of these keywords right here that could potentially do really well. So we'll just copy those keywords, go back on over to ChatGPT. And now what we want to do is ask it to write a 500 word description of a YouTube channel, including these keywords as topics of videos that people can find on it. As you can tell, this is really not the best prompt in the world, but this is something that we just did very quick. And as you can see, it literally just wrote us an entire description of all of these different things right here. Now, this might be a little bit long. I think 500 words was really overdoing it a little bit. Let's summarize that in about like 100 words. So we'll just say summarize the above description in only. Actually, let's cut it even to 50 words right there. And as you can see, it's cool because you can just go back and forth with ChatGPT and literally just type out what you want it to do. And you have a dedicated worker that can do all of this for you. So as you can tell, it just wrote it right there and it gave us a different name of our channel. So we'll say rewrite with the channel name philosophy unveiled. There we go. And this will simply rewrite it for us. So as you can see, Philosophy Unveiled offers accessible philosophical exploration, delve into philosophy, explain on all these different subjects, subscribe for enlightening, thought-provoking content. Boom, we've got a description that's keyword rich for our channel. Step number three is to come up with 30 video ideas for your new channel that you're using AI on. So as you can see here, what my student did with his channel, we'll just take a look at the type of content that he's uploading. He's simply doing videos like five super simple AI video steps that will make your life easier. Also the five best AI video generating tools and stuff like that. And when it comes to getting ideas for ourselves, we can simply ask ChatGPT, come up with 30 video ideas for a channel similar to this one. And you can paste the link to one channel or even multiple different similar channels within your niche that are already succeeding. And then we can paste it in right there. As you can see, it'll say, certainly we can come up with video ideas similar to the channel that you pasted right there. So it was smart enough to go through this link, see this channel, and it gives us a bunch of different video ideas that are similar to it. As you can see, 10 surprising benefits of meditation, how to improve your memory, and so on. A lot of these are great video ideas. But what I always recommend doing before you go ahead and choose a video idea, you want to search these ideas on YouTube to make sure that there are videos related to this idea that have at least 100,000 views on them. So as you can see, this one has 13 million. That's great. It's about 10 years old though. You want to see relatively newer videos that have been uploaded in the past year or a couple years that are getting a lot of views. For example, this one, how to persuade anyone 200,000 views in the past month. That's a very good sign. And you want to look for at least multiple videos going up that have that amount of views. And this subject checks off that box. So that's a good video idea. Literally just a couple minutes of your time and boom, you've got 30 different video ideas for your channel. Step number four is to get scripts written for each of these different video ideas. And of course, you're not gonna have to write the entire script yourself. All you have to do is use a tool like ChatGPT to help you write these scripts for you. So for example, if we're gonna use that idea, the art of persuasion, how to influence other effectively. We can simply copy that right there. And then we can ask ChatGPT, please write a 2000 word script. And the reason we're doing 2000 words is because that's about the amount of length of time. So you're gonna have a video that's at least 10 minutes long. You want to be at least eight minutes long due to the fact that then you can put multiple ad breaks on your video and make a lot more per thousand views having multiple ads on your video. So we're gonna say, please write a 2000 word script for a YouTube video on this topic. And then we will simply paste the topic in there, click enter and check this out. It's literally going to write us a 2000 word script on this. And as you can see, since I used the keyword script, it gave us a lot of things related to like scripting of TV shows or movies and stuff. It mentions like there's a host on the screen. The script itself is fantastic, but what you can do if there's all that unnecessary stuff right there, you can simply ask it, please write a 2000 word article about 
and then paste in that topic right there. This way it won't have any of that unnecessary stuff and it'll just give us a straight article that is about this subject. And at the end of the day, a blog post, an article, and a YouTube script, they can all be very similar as long as it's giving value to your end audience. And we need to make sure that it's doing that and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So after this script generates right here, what you want to do is always go through these scripts yourself and make sure that everything makes sense. And if there's any points in it where something doesn't make sense or you see an opportunity where you can provide more value into the script, that is fantastic for you because you can make that script more valuable and also fix any potential mistakes and people will have no idea that that script was written by ChatGPT. Another thing you want to do is go to a website called copyscape.com and paste in your scripts before you go ahead with the next part of this process to make sure that there aren't any copyright problems in your script because ChatGPT uses a lot of other websites to congregate this information from, you wanna make sure that everything is 100% unique and original. And if you ever get to a point where it isn't, you can simply ask ChatGPT to rewrite that section and it'll do that for you or simply rewrite it yourself. You just wanna make sure that your scripts are valuable, unique, and giving value to your end viewer. So now that we got our script done, it's time for step number five, which is to do an AI voiceover on your video. Now, one of the best websites for doing this is a website called 11labs.io. And in fact, the person who runs this channel right here in my student community, he says that he uses 11labs.io on a lot of his different channels and it's very good for AI voices. In fact, it's the best that I've found and I've listened to a lot of different AI voiceover software. A lot of them you can tell like it's a robot or anything, but with 11 Labs, it is like almost indistinguishable from being a human. And they have tons of different voices, but one of my personal favorite voices is Adam right here. And I'll give you a listen so you can hear what it sounds like right here. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to- Yeah, so that is actually a robot. That's not even a real person saying that. And as you can hear, it's incredibly good. So all we have to do is go to 11 Labs. And unfortunately, there is only a certain amount of characters we can put in when we're on a free plan. So you may have to pay for a more expensive plan. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever in mentioning them right here, but I think you get 10,000 free characters per month which is good for a couple YouTube scripts, but when you make this an actual business, you may have to pay some money for an upgraded plan. So what I'm gonna do is just copy the first couple sections of this script right here for our video that we're generating and just copy it over, go on over to 11 Labs, paste it in and then click generate. And boom, now we have a voiceover done for us. So gone are the days of waiting days for a voiceover artist to get back to you with the voiceover. Boom, we instantly have a voiceover right there. And if we can listen to it, we can hear how good it sounds. Today's dynamic and interconnected world, the ability to persuade and influence others is a skill of paramount importance. As you can tell, that's incredibly good and that's not even a real person. Now, one thing I do wanna mention when you're going through your script, make sure you interject some experience that you've personally had onto this because I've seen a lot of people talk about when it comes to AI generated content that it's just gonna flood YouTube with a bunch of content that's not actually valuable. So you can make your content stand out by far and away the most just by taking a couple minutes of your own time by putting in your own personal experiences, stories, anything else that can make your video go above and beyond into the script. Don't just rely 100% on an AI script for your video. Make sure to interject some of your own value into that video, even if it just takes a couple minutes to do, because that could be what separates your video from all the rest so your video will get the most amount of views. And one of the best ways of doing this is to find three different videos on YouTube and take the best aspects from each of those videos into your own and write that in your own words. And then you can, for example, use ChatGPT to summarize that or make it more succinct. And also look at the comments on those videos to see if there's any questions people are asking so you can address that within your video as well. And that will ensure that your video will do the best that it can. Now, speaking of voiceovers, I'm gonna show you what my students channels voiceover sound like right here. We'll open up his most popular video that got over 200,000 views and just listen to the quality of this voiceover. Artificial intelligence or AI video editor for your business is important. From professional- As you can tell, it's not as good as his most recent videos right here due to the fact that AI is continually getting better and better. So if we listen to this one right here, I make a living making YouTube videos using only AI. And with my five super simple- It's a much better voiceover as you can hear. And then once you've got your voiceover done, just go down to the bottom right here and then click this download button right here and download it to your computer. Now it's time for step number six, which is oftentimes the hardest part of doing this, but we can use AI to make it very easy. 
and that is the visuals for our video itself. Now, video editing is a skill that takes a lot of time to learn how to develop, sometimes even years to become a really good video editor. And we can actually bypass a lot of those hard parts of the process if we make particular types of content so we can use AI tools to assist us in making that content. And let me give you a couple examples. If you are making super high quality 3D animated videos, you may not necessarily be able to use AI just yet. You probably will very soon to create those types of videos. However, if you're making videos like that channel that we're taking a look at, Brainy Dose, these videos can be made almost entirely using AI tools. Now you might be asking Matt, what AI tools can I use to create videos just like this? Well, these are tools like Pictory as well as Flicky. And for the example of this video, I am going to use Pictory right here to generate a video entirely for us. And I'll show you exactly how that works. So all you have to do is go open up a Pictory account, go down to script to video right here, click proceed. And from here you can paste in your script that we have right there, paste it in and then click proceed. Once this saves right here, just give it a second and then click proceed. And then from here, we can choose a template for the video. And don't worry if you don't like any of these templates right here, you can go ahead and edit this after the video is generated. So all we're gonna do is choose one. I think this one looks pretty good right here. Select that, then select a 16 by nine format because we're making a long form YouTube video and then wait for the video to generate. And literally within a couple of seconds, you will have a video made, which is absolutely incredible. So we'll just give this a minute here and we'll see the video. And boom, just like that, we've got the video generated. But what we wanna do is add our AI voiceover to this video. So in order to do that, we go down to this microphone icon and select upload voiceover. And boom, now that audio file is uploading. And then what you wanna do after you upload the voiceover, go on to the my upload section here, go down to the voiceover you just uploaded, click apply, and then select entire video right there. And this will auto sync your voiceover with the text on the video. So everything's appearing at the right times. And while this is loading right here, essentially the way that software like Pictory works is that it utilizes databases from stock video websites, for example, Storyblocks, and it uses those clips within your video. And channels like Brainy Dose, they're almost entirely stock footage based. But if you wanna take this to the next level, you can also use traditional video editors like PowerDirector to edit your videos. That's actually what I learned video editing on. And then you can use OBS Studio to record your screen if you're making videos similar to what my student is doing right here, showing different AI software, and he's recording a screen to actually show that software right there. And as you can tell, he's also got a two-dimensional character on his video right there. I'm not exactly sure what he's using for that. I should probably ask him. However, I do know that there's software like Animaker out there that could potentially allow you to create 2D animations like this as well. And now our video is done and here is what it looks like right here. An interconnected world. The ability to persuade and influence others is a skill of paramount importance. Whether you're a salesperson looking to Perfect, looks good. So we can just click looks good right there. Then we can go ahead and adjust the volume if we want to right here. Make sure the background music is very low because you don't want it to be too loud. And make sure that your voiceover volume is loud enough so it's clear and understandable. And then like I was telling you, you can edit all of this stuff right here. For example, the text that you're using, the size of the text, where it's located on the screen. For example, what I want to do is move the text on over to the center right here and ideally make it a little bit of a different color as well and make it look a little bit more similar to what that Brainy Does channel is doing. As you can see right there, we did that. And then what we can do is apply this to all of the different texts throughout the video and make it look really good. And you can go the extra mile, you know, making sure everything looks good and whatnot. And it literally will only take you like 10, 20 minutes to go through here and do this. And once you go ahead and you go and do all the editing, you can rearrange your clips, try to find better clips if you find better ones and make it look how you want it to look. For example, you can even get rid of the text if you don't want it on the video because Brainy Dose doesn't always have text either. You can just make it so titles appear throughout the video. If you wanna interject your own clip, you can even upload that to Pictory and do that as well. And basically just fine tune it to make it look similar to videos that have already gone viral so that you're putting your best foot forward, so to speak, to have the potential of getting as many views as you possibly can. And when you're done and your video is ready, then all you have to do is click download right here. And you can download the video to your computer and boom, you have a video you could potentially upload to YouTube and make money from. And that brings me to step number seven, which is optimizing and uploading your video. When it comes to optimization, we just need a good description of our video and we can simply use ChatGPT for that. Simply ask it to write us a very short description description of our video. And then when it comes to putting the right tags and keywords on our video, we can go ahead and ask ChatGPT, come up with 50 keywords for this video 
put in the video title, click enter, and it will literally give us 50 keywords that we can go ahead and do a little bit more investigation in. Because we don't wanna just choose keywords because ChatGPT gives them to us, we wanna make sure that they have good rankings. And the way you can do this is to use a tool like vidIQ, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like right here. So if we go on over to vidIQ, is go on over to the keyword opportunities tab right here, click open keyword research, from here, we're just going to individually paste a lot of these different keywords into here. For example, persuasion techniques, paste that in right here, and I'll show you what to look for to make sure that a keyword is good. So as you can see, this keyword right here has a search volume of only 1,800. Ideally, we want at least 10,000 searches per month for the keyword we're using. And for competition, we want it ideally to be below 60, and we want the overall score right here to be high. If you're only gonna look at one metric, look at the overall score, because that automatically weighs the search volume against the competition, and it gives you a score from zero to 100. An overall score of 40 is good, and anything over 50 is fantastic. So just do this for the main keywords of the video. If you're putting a lot of keywords and using up all 500 of those characters right there, then not every keyword has to be absolutely incredible for the ranking, but make sure you have at least 10 to 20 keywords that are highly optimized for your video. And if you wanna take this to the next level, you can get the vidIQ boost plan, which allows you to just do this all on YouTube when you're uploading the video, and it'll help automatically give you a ton of the best keywords for your video. And also for optimization, you need a thumbnail for your YouTube video, and you can simply use Canva if you want for making a YouTube thumbnail if you just search YouTube thumbnail right here. You'll see there's tons of different YouTube thumbnail templates that come up right here that you could use on your video. Honestly, I don't think a lot of them are fantastic. I think you can do a bit better using something like paint.net or using one of these templates and further customizing it to be as good as you can possibly make it. And another tool you can look into is one called Midjourney for making AI generated thumbnails. And let me give you an example of a channel that I suspect is using these AI generated thumbnails. So this channel right here is called Thoughty2 and this guy just creates videos about all types of mysterious and interesting subjects. And as you can see, a lot of his thumbnails are very unique and I suspect that he's using at least similar to that program I mentioned called Midjourney to generate some of these very unique images. And I say that because I've searched some of these images, reverse image searching on Google, and they don't come up. So I suspect he's using something like Midjourney to generate a lot of these thumbnails, and you certainly can do the same as well. So once we have our thumbnail, just like that, we have an AI video that is ready to be uploaded to YouTube, and we can have an AI run channel that helps us a lot in the processes that go into running a YouTube channel. And I believe these AI software are only gonna get better, but make sure that you use these software to actually give people as much value as you can, not just to make a quick buck, make sure that we're trying to give people as much value as we can because the amount of money we make is directly correspondent to the amount of value that we give the marketplace, in this case, uploading videos to YouTube. And if you wanna make money on YouTube and you wanna learn the ins and outs of doing it correctly, you can check out this free training next to me right here. This is essentially a free course that I made for you if you wanna take that next step and potentially make money on YouTube without even making videos or showing your face. This will show you all the ins and outs of it, monetizing it, getting a ton of views and subscribers. And these are the same growth tactics my students have used in doing that as well. So make sure to click on that training, watch it. My name is Matt Parr and I'll see you there.